Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I shall be doing a review of Mo Ubuntu, a method of customising Ubuntu to look Moer. Moer is defined by Wikipedia as a Japanese slang loan word that refers to feelings of strong affection, mainly towards characters, usually female, in anime, manga, and video games. So I think what they're trying to do here is that Mo Ubuntu, customising Ubuntu to look Moer, will induce feelings of moe towards the OS, maybe? I think a better name might have been kawaii Ubuntu or cute Ubuntu, but of course it doesn't roll off the tongue in the same way. I will start off by reviewing the look and feel of Mo Ubuntu, and then how easy I found the instructions to customise it. First of all, I'll review the look and feel of Mo Ubuntu. So this is Mo Ubuntu with all of the defaults from the instructions, which I will go over in a minute. One thing which I will point out now is the wallpaper suggested does not come in widescreen. So as you can see, it's a bit stretched here. I could have chosen a different wallpaper to be fair, but at the same time, the anime I'm into is not particularly Moa. And of course, we've got the Moa Ubuntu logo over the top here. The first thing that you can obviously see is that everything is very, very pink and cute. So let's just start from the beginning. So we can see that we have this nice font here. We can see that a lot of the logos and icons have changed. You can see there's a cute little heart here now. The files has a lot of hearts coming out. Firefox, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Is that a cat? wearing a dinosaur outfit? I'm not quite sure. I did do a very brief Google search to try and find out if it's a reference to something to no avail. So as you can see, the font is different. The icons are different. It's very cute. Let's have a look at some of the installed applications. And there's quite some difference here. Everything's a bit glossier, a bit cuter. Let's open the terminal and have a look at that. So as you can see, the terminal is very cute. We have pink text on a white background when we're typing. And if we just close the terminal, you can see everything, all of these are hearts now, so. And when you've finished with Mo Ubuntu, you can always shut down. Oh, it's cute as well, Oh. And now onto the customization. So in order to find these instructions, I simply googled Mo Ubuntu, having heard of it before. We come across this website, which is very cute in itself, and we go over how to Mo Ubuntu, and we have all of these options here. We go to Moanize Your Desktop, which is the one that I only really focused on for this review. Now, I shall preface this by saying that in comparison to quids, I'm quite a noob when it comes to this kind of stuff. I do use Ubuntu quite regularly for work, actually, but I have very, very little experience in customising it in any way. Yes, I did have to ask Quids for help on a couple of these steps, and I will flag up when I did that. That said, most of the instructions were quite straightforward, but hopefully this review will show just how easy these instructions were to follow. So, of course, as I said before, Mo Ubuntu is simply a customization of Ubuntu. So we have these customization instructions. So the first step is to install Ubuntu. I decided to go with 16.04 and I've installed it in VirtualBox. Once you get that out of the way, you need to get the Ubuntu original desktop theme. Now, the first thing that I realized from these instructions is that the first couple of steps after you've actually installed Ubuntu just involve downloading stuff and you don't actually need to do anything with these files until later on when they give you the full instructions, but it's something to bear in mind. So number two is get the original desktop theme, and we have a list of links to this, and you can just pick the right one and download it. Then the original icon theme. Again, this is very straightforward. These are just Google Drive links, as you can see. Then arguably the most difficult step, get a desktop wallpaper. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this video just reviewing the animegallery.com, but because some of the anime that I tend to be into is not not particularly Moe, so I decided to go with the recommended background picture and also just to show what the OS would look like 
after using the recommended picture. So we can just open this. Now, unfortunately, none of the options are widescreen. So as you could see, when I showed you the wallpaper, it's a bit stretched. So I just went ahead and downloaded this. Then just another download, get the dash icon. Step six is when you start actually using the files you've downloaded in the previous steps in order to start customizing Ubuntu to make it look more. So one thing to bear in mind when looking at these instructions is that oftentimes what they'll do is they'll say, for example, expand and drop the desktop theme into this location. But then you realize that you should really read further because then it has further steps that will make it easier to do so. So then we just expand the icon theme, put it into the dot icons folder. Now they've got all of these screenshots accompanying different steps of the tutorial, which I ignored for the most part, except towards the end, because one thing, I can't read Japanese, and two, most of the instructions are detailed enough that you kind of know what you're doing. So now you continue down, and then they have these branches off, so you just pick, pick the right one for you. Install Unity Tweak Tool, launch it. This, this step is just very straightforward. Okay, so the first part of step seven is actually changing the icons. And it's again, just copy pasting into the correct folder here, which is straightforward again. And you can ignore most of the extra information given here. Next, change the background color of the Unity launcher, which again was very straightforward. You can just follow the instructions here. Now changing the fonts to Moeke. This step would be a lot easier if you can actually speak Japanese, but if you can't, following this instruction here really does give you all you need to know. So let's just go with Akubin. So let's go to the right link, click the panda. Now, if we look back at the website, it says click on the GK button on the second row of the menu box on the left. Now, from what I can see, the kanji doesn't actually match up, but it's okay, you can still click the second button here. Then click on the GK Iriguchi button at the bottom, which just, you just click this button at the bottom. Then you click the second from the left, second from the top, which is this. And then you can simply scroll down. It doesn't really matter which you, you download. I think this was the only time in which I had to ask Quids for specific guidance. And that was because following the instructions on how to install the fonts, it didn't work for me. So. I then asked Quids who just suggested double clicking on it. Yes, I said I was a noob when it comes to customizing Ubuntu, but there you go. And then you can follow the rest of the steps. That is going to the Unity tweak tool, going to fonts, and then selecting Akabin for the different options. Optionally, you can change the default font in Firefox to Moeke font and then you can place the Moabuntu logo onto the background. It gives you instructions for how to do it in GIMP, which was quite straightforward. You can just follow the instructions. Optionally, you can place the trash icon on the desktop. Again, very straightforward. I decided to do that. And change the color of Windows border drop shadow, which again, I did. I think this might have been the only step in which I actually needed to look at this screenshot because it doesn't give all the information you need actually in the description. And then optionally, you can change the bubble color to pink, which I decided not to do. I think by this point, it's very Moa. So this was the review of Moa Bantu. I have reviewed the general look and feel as well as the instructions, which on the whole were fairly straightforward, although there were one or two times in which I needed to read ahead a little bit and try to work out what was going on. But overall, a very, very cute customization. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.